Again, I've lost my sense of taste, so if I get anything wrong, that's why. It's not that I don't know what I'm talking about. Um... Well, welcome back to an entirely new year. Uh, and of course, as Murphy's Law dictates, uh, nothing is ever perfect. Uh, and of course, for the first uh, filming segment of the year, uh, one of us has unfortunately contracted COVID-19. <coughs> it's not the wine. Yes, Henry is in quarantine at the moment, uh, contracted the virus, but not to be defeated. Uh, Henry and Lockie hatched a bit of a little plan, uh, which Noah and I are completely on board with. Seems like we've got a little uh, lineup of some BWS classics. Which was to actually explore one of the more interesting aspects of the COVID-19 virus, which is uh, the inhibition of smell and taste. Now, given that Henry has very little of either, uh, we thought it'd be really interesting to see how COVID-19 is actually affecting his sense of smell and taste, given that he's uh, had the virus now for about eight or nine days. So it definitely well and truly should uh, be in full throws. Um, so we've acquired three different wines. We've all got the same three wines. Uh, we're all tasting them in the exact same order. Uh, and we're all tasting, of course, uh, in the comfort of our own homes. Now, we're gonna delve right in. She's bubbles. It is sparkly, I think. Well, I know because I opened it and I had a cork in a cage on top of it. Uh, this is the first time I'm having to do my own stunt. Lockie's not here to open my wines for me. Doesn't smell great. It smells very reductive and bike tirey and pretty muted as well, really. There is that kind of faint oyster shell thing, but it's um, it's mostly hidden in that kind of really bike tirey reduction, which you get from, I get a lot of large volume sparkling wines. This kind of smells like nasal congestion. Now there's a bit of like confectionery thing going on, I think. It smells kind of sweet. It does have a little bit of passion fruit to it, I think, again. Let's see. All right, well definitely a white bubbles of sorts. Uh, a relatively fine bead. I mean, nothing I'd, I'd write home about. This ain't it. This is not it. It is like this <laughs> fresh squeezed lime over a lime jube. It is just like, it's so acidic and so sweet, um, but with no balance. It's not like German Riesling or any off dry wines or that have, you know, get great balance of acid to sweetness. It's too sweet and too acidic at the same time. It's really <laughs> quite f amazing that that's the case. I wouldn't necessarily buy this myself. It's very, very short, very clipped, but interesting nonetheless. Um, the bead has all but gone from this wine, as you can see straight away, that, that hasn't really taken much much time at all. Um, not a lot of smell, not a lot of taste, apart from the overt sweetness. Could be a sparkling Chardonnay, maybe? This is a, this is a wine built to be blended away into a cocktail, not into your drinking pleasure as it by itself. Um, yeah, nah, big no from me, I'm not buying anything. I'm not having a glass, I don't want this, this is shit. <laughs> Wine number two, this wine is green. Why is this wine green? I don't drink green wine usually. Oh my fucking God. What the fuck? Uh, that color is not natural. This is absolutely, <laughs> what the hell is that? It's green. It smells like limes. <laughs> Why does this wine smell like limes? It shouldn't smell like limes, it should smell like grapes. It smells grassy. It smells like fresh papaya. Oh, it's, it smells minty as well. <laughs> it smells like weed. Not that I've ever smoked it or done it, you run it, or mum if you're watching. Um, but it smells like weed. <laughs> this is dank. Whoever's, bought, whoever's picked these is messing with me because it's making me question whether I have got a sense of smell or taste because this smells, all of these so far have smelled whack. It's like Sauvignon Blanc. Harvested really green on a lot of drugs, like a lot of drugs. This is like herbaceous on drugs. That's whack. Yeah, it tastes like weed. Is this like the is this like the THC infused wine? Um, because it tastes like it. And um, oh, nah, nah, big nah box from me. This is this is shit house. I hate spitting on camera. I'm so bad at it compared to the other two. And now I have to because I'm sick or whatever. But like. This is so much so just like I'm looking at something in the glass and going, it's great, it must taste like apples, but this is great and it kind of tastes like apples. 
I don't know, but I like it. Alright, so I don't care what you I don't care if they're messing with me. I really like it. No one bottles of it. Number three. Well, this looks more like it. Lovely, like, red kind of thing. That's like a nice crimson. It's like the same color of my hat. Ooh, hello. Yes. Yep. Cool. Bright. Fresh. Sour cherry. Mmm. Yeah. That smells like grape juice that's been fermented. Like the inside of a really expensive wardrobe that hasn't been opened in a long time. Like made of mahogany or something like that. Oh, this is classic. I mean, could be Sangiovese, but more classic Pinot Noir characteristics. Beautiful fan tail. Wonderful balance of primary fruit as well as tertiary secondary and tertiary characteristics. It's not all sweetness. I struggle to taste things without swallowing them, so this is a whole new world to me. Um, don't clip that last bit, Lucky. Uh, I take everything I back I said back on that last one because this smells a fucking incredible. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I like it. I think it's got a little bit of a. Uh... It's like a bit of a stemmy, grenache -y potential thing going on, like pretty whole bunchy. It's really, it's quite nice, it's quite light. Phenomenally reductive. It's got this like really lovely flinty, like match struck thing as well, but it's so perfumed and it's it's Pinot all day. Like it's, it's, it's Pinot at the ab absolute tippy top of the tree. It is beautiful. It's like smoky and flinty. And this is a great little Friday treat after the fucking shit show that we just dealt with. Um, so this is spectacular. And I'd like 12. <laughs> I don't know if just being in isolation is making me thirsty, but I want 12 of all of these. And I think I'm gonna get roasted for wine number two, but look, I'm interested to see what the boys reckon as well, so. We'll see you on the Zoom call. We knocked three down. What do you guys think? Uh, and then it got really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, no. That was my general reaction was uh, no. 12, 12, and 12. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. Honestly, I get it. Pretty uh, low bar to set, but it's the worst drink I've had this year, and it's probably the worst drink I had last year, and it's the worst drink we've ever had on the show. I wanted to run so far away from this. Um, I hated it so much. <laughs> it, it, it it's looks pretty sad. Like, um, I've never actually bought the Gatorade flavor because I'm put off by the color of it, but it looks and tastes like what I assume that green Gatorade tastes like. It looks like <laughs> Green Goblin's last urine sample. It's so bad. What's it goes against the dog, bro? <laughs> I don't know. What was your reaction, Noah, when you poured it out in the glass? Um, I was like, well, I went, what the fuck? And I was like, my, my instant reaction was like, this is like hemp-infused wine or like THC-infused wine or something like that. That was my gut feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, what's probably the other remarkable thing here is that this is imported by Pinnacle Drinks. So this is the the drinks company, the importation company that um, is owned by like Woolworths. Um, so obviously Woolworths are seeing potential in this. Shut the fuck up if you're seeing potential with this. Get the fuck out. You've got you've got one market. I mean, you've got thirty three percent of the market apparently in in this year. <laughs> Well, on something that uh, I was a big fan of. Oh, that, honestly, it was amazing. This one was yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah, that was. Uh, that's what I'm sitting on at the moment. Uh, yeah, same. I thought, have you tried? Is it the Super Nanny or the Super Goat or the like their their top top? Hey, cheers. Uh, their top one. Nah. Um, I've had this a few times, and uh, this is this. Honestly, this is fucking banging. Yeah. Holy shit, I was stunned at how good this was. I was like, either Brennan and Lockie have slipped in something like extra nice because they're like, well, we've punished them with the last two ones. Let's give them something like dope. Um, or if this is a bargain at Dima, so I'm gonna cop a whole bunch of it. How much is this? Uh, 40 bucks. That's all right. It's not crazy, it's not crazy good value, but I think it comes down on special occasionally to the $35, which makes it a, you know, a lot more attractive. You can, I can see in the wine that every single moment of it has been like meticulously thought out. Yeah, yeah. but to make it look like listerine, did they? So they've obviously missed a step there. 
<laughs> well, we didn't want to leave you on Friday, like, with a whole bunch of wines dropped off that you simply would never drink. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Henry would drink all of them. Um, yeah, well, yeah, I'm going to have to put something else. <laughs> zero alcohol. How much is the zero alcohol bottle? Like, how much is that? Like, seven bucks? I think it was like, I think it was more than that. I, thought, I think it was like 15, 20 bucks. So they really kind of, yeah, they're really wow. kind of taking me for it. I don't know. I'll tell you what you do. I know how to make that. All you need to do is get some verjuice, some citric acid, and you're good. Do yeah. drink. Yeah, like Batuta, uh, Batuta put up a thing the other day that was like, uh, uh, local, local man who's never heard of Cordy Pies alcohol free spirit. That's just like, yeah, I, 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 yeah, fifty dollars. Don't get the alcohol out. Anyway, on that note, guys, uh, happy Friday. Sorry we couldn't be together. Sorry we couldn't do the Grange episode. That was what we were meant to do. The Grange episode. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> just don't get sick again, Henry. Stop being so social, bro. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, happy Friday, guys. Cheers. 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 Oh, <laughs> my